everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And if you saw the thumbnail, you saw that there was a box. That's right, it's a little bitty mini haul, plus one that I didn't show you in the thumbnail. I went to Ollie's the other night because, you know, as one does, we just had to go looking around. And also we had to get some K-cups. We finally got a new coffee maker that has like the regular coffee pot and has the little K-cup side, but it's like not a Keurig, it's a not Keurig. Um, so we had to get some K-cups and we did and Ollie's almost always has them for a way cheaper than you can get them at the grocery store or at Walmart. So we picked up some of those, but I couldn't let that be all. And I did not actually buy any yarn because everything they had was stuff they've had for a while. Matter of fact, it's not on an aisle by itself anymore at my Ollie's. They've put it on end caps everywhere. So you have to go looking for it, which is a pita if you ask me. Anyhow, went to the book section. Plenty of knitting books. I didn't see any crochet books or any craft books that I just had to have, but I did see this. Too Cute Crochet. And look, look, look. It is actually a kit and a pattern book. Uh, it includes about 100 yards of yarn, a 3 millimeter crochet hook, stuffing, and a 24 page instruction book. So I'm thinking that it gives you enough stuff to make like the bee and a bunny or something. But look at those. Look at the little snails and the little bees, little owls and little bunnies. So I thought that would be kind of fun. It was $7.99, but I did have a 15% off coupon off my entire purchase. So still did not pay full price. Also didn't pay the reduced price. I paid less because your girl is cheap. Now. For the box, Miss Glenda, a creative grandma, is kind of a yarn enabler like almost every one of us in the YouTube uh, crochet world are. And she got a bunch of stuff from Smiley's Yarn and she told us about a deal they were having. So I just, I had to, I couldn't resist. Now I've, I've undone the tape so that I can get in there but I have not looked in the box yet. But look at this box. This box has been through some things on its way to my house here in Georgia. Like, hello. I don't know who they had sitting on this thing, but yeah, it's a good thing it's yarn and nothing actually breakable. All right, all right. Oh, wow. Okay, this is unexpected. I got a piece of paper, a tiny piece of paper, printed that says free Lion Brand Knitting Needles. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but uh, I really was not expecting this. Actual, honest to goodness, big old long, poke somebody in the eye knitting needles. Um, one is a six millimeter set. One is a 10 millimeter set that is pink. And one is a purple looking nine millimeter set. All right, I have knitting needles. I guess that means I'm supposed to learn how to perform magic now because knitting is magic. Okay, they actually give you the invoice in here with prices on it, which is awesome. Because I don't remember what I ordered. So yeah, like that's a new thing. Okay, and I made sure to bring it just high enough to, uh, to get their order because the thing with smileys is you have to order $50 worth. They're in the U.S. and I believe they only ship to the U.S. And their minimum order is $50. So, I kind of got a bunch of stuff here. This was the uh, extra that I got. I got five extra balls to bring myself up. Because this was not the deal that I was ordering. These, for five balls, came to $9.95. I want you to look at that. Yes, I'm putting it all up in your face. That is pretty. The color is called Ocean. Or maybe it's the yarn type that's called, the, the, the yarn name that's called Ocean. Yeah, it's just the yarn name. It's Yarn Art, which is super nice. This is, I think they're calling it a four, no, it's a five weight. Okay, they are calling this a bulky five. Um, I would say it'd be a, on the lighter side of five. Oh, look, there's the end of the yarn. Um, or a hefty four, okay? In each one of these balls, uh, hang on. Here we go. It's color 113, by the way. It was the only one they had left in the ocean because they have very limited quantities of stuff that they have. These are 100 gram. They're 20% wool, 80% acrylic. And for that 100 gram, 
Uh, it's 180 meters in each one of a sort of five weight. And I've got five of them. Lots of beautiful, beautiful blue yarn art stuff there. Now, in the rest of the box are what the deal things were. Each one of these was a buck fifty a ball. Okay. Let me pull out the first color that I have here. This is Patton's or Peyton's classic wool. It's a DK superwash. Okay. A DK, not a super fine or anything like that. And for the 10 pack, it was $15. Yes, yes, please. And we all know Peyton's is, you know, it's 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 heading towards bougie land. Okay. This one is called Welsh Coast. And this is a 50 gram ball, uh, which is about 114 meters. And it says one ball will make a hat. That's what it says. I think it, I think it means it make a knitted hat because I don't think that little will make a crocheted hat. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? And the reason that I got that color, that particular variegated, were because some solids would match right along with it. I got 10 of each of the colors that I got. got 10 of this beauty right here. This one is eggplant or aubergine. Look, you can tell I like purple, right? Look at that. That is some pretty yarn. Now this is a DK, it's a super wash, and it is 100% pure new wool. Now even though it says super wash, this is not something I would go tossing in the wash and hot water and into the dryer at hot temperature, no. I'd probably go gentle, cold, and either cool tumble or just lay it out but you know what even though it's wool and you can tell that it's wool it's still pretty soft it's also nice and squishy so there's the aubergine and I got 10 of this gorgeous color which is mallard teal look at that that is a gorgeous blue let me show you these three together because these colors are in this one here. Now the solid colors feel like there's, there might be more in there. It could just be the way it's wound. Let me double check. Nope. 50 grams, about 114 meters in all of them. But aren't those pretty together? Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make. Wool, what do you want to be? You have to tell me. You have, the wool has to tell me because I don't know. I didn't have a pattern in mind. Although I thought something kind of sort of stripey and sort of, you know, cardigan-y might be warranted with this. It'd be nice and warm for the winter. And uh, I probably have plenty, <laughs> even to fit myself. So, yeah, $15 for 10 balls of this. And it is absolutely luscious. These colors are amazing. The twist is nice on it, and it's a three weight. Yeah, thanks, Glenda. <laughs> Thank you for making me shop more. <laughs> but I also got knitting needles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Yeah, that's it's kind of nerve wracking. I, I I own knitting needles now. I don't know. I could I could sword fight with them or something. Yeah, not quite sure what to do with that. Did you take advantage of the smiley sale? Or this particular smiley sale, their yarn of the month? Because that's what all that was, yarn of the month. They have one every month. Or uh, did you let it pass you by? Oh my gosh, what do you think about this gorgeousness? Wow. I really like this too. Of course, that's yarn. I like it all. This made my craptacular work day a whole lot better. Yeah, recording this on Thursday. You'll see it on Friday or later if you aren't watching it the same day because hello. And uh, what have you bought this week? Tell me down below. See y'all very soon. Bye now.